Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Hollywood Studios and in just a little over two days or a little under two days, Galaxy Edge is going to open here. It is going to be absolutely busy and I probably will not be here for opening at Galaxy Edge. So I wanted to take in Hollywood Studios before the Galaxy Edge madness happens. So let's go do this. I already attended the Galaxy Edge annual pass holder preview and like I said I'm probably not going to go to the grand opening only because I have seen it uh, and I do like it a lot but I feel like I'm doing my part to help the crowd control. I've already seen it and maybe just one less person in there will help thousands of other people enjoy the land. So Galaxy Edge is set to open at 6 a.m. on Thursday morning, but there's a 100% chance that it's going to open sooner than that, and maybe even a soft opening the day before. And if you plan on coming in for opening day, and you think 5 a.m. is early enough, you might want to double check that because there are going to be people waiting at midnight, I guarantee it. We walk in and we immediately get to see a little custodial art. Pretty fancy. Look at that. That is talented. Fast passes are super hard to get. All they have is Voyage of the Little Mermaid, Star Tours, and for the first time ever. Well, for the first time in forever. So I'm not sure. I guess we'll take Star Tours for 7.15. Yeah, let's do that for now. A Tower of Terror fast passes coming almost as elusive as Flight of Passage and Slinky Dog. I don't get it. Like, you can never find one anymore. Before we get to our Star Tours Fast Pass, just look at the entrance for Galaxy's Edge. Right now, they are doing the media previews, and I think the grand opening ceremony is going to be tomorrow for the media, which, I mean, it's not the grand opening because it doesn't officially open until Thursday, but that's when they're going to have, like, the celebrities and the shows and such, which would be very entertaining to see, but I am not media. So, we're going to stick to Star Tours. 20 minute wait, but I got a fast pass. I also prefer the smell of an old attraction than the smell of a new attraction. You don't see carpets in new attractions anymore these days. Look at everyone all seated away. Now it's my turn. Party of one. Row three for party of one. That's me. Whoa. It's such a classic ride. I do love it a lot, but it's kind of ironic and funny how two Star Wars rides will be open in just two days. One of them probably being the longest wait, and the other one, sadly, would probably be the lowest wait. Or maybe all the buzz from Galaxy Edge will actually make more people want to ride Star Tours. The Red Carpet Dreams is one of my favorite character meet and greets to see Mickey and Minnie and they always have a posted long wait time but I want to see if it's actually 50 minutes or a little less huh. and 
and yep, that's about 50 minutes. So, <laughs> we are gonna move along because 50 minutes is kind of a long time and the park's only open for another hour and a half. And I believe last time I was at Hollywood Studios, actually, the last time I was at Hollywood Studios at night, I had to choose between Fantasmic and a Star Wars Galactic Spectacular, and I ended up doing Fantasmic. So, we're gonna make sure we check out Star Wars Galactic Spectacular tonight. What do you think they're gonna do with this sign here? Like, because you have all of the things pointing to the different areas, but there's no Galaxy Edge there. Do you think they're just gonna add one more in the bottom row there, saying Galaxy Edge this way? Interesting. Look at that sky above the Tower of Terror. Seriously, moments like this where you just sit on Sunset Boulevard, have a Bud Light, and just stare up at the sky and watch the people, it's unbelievable, and it's worth everything. The only thing that could make this better for me tonight yeah. is if I did get a fast pass for the Tower of Terror, but I don't see that happening. So we'll check the wait times out and maybe do Rock and Roller Coaster Single Rider. It's very tough, very tough. It's a hard not life at Hollywood Studios. Just look at that big beautiful tower. Right now is a good time to try to ride this. It says it's only a 35 minute wait and it looks like Fantasmic is loading up. So, fingers crossed people, fingers crossed. And we're in, awesome. And we got a fast pass. Actually, Lindsay, who out front was just nice enough to let me ride fast pass, thank you Lindsay, but Look at this favorite queue right here. So cool. And this reminds me of the tile work in the Morocco Pavilion at Epcot. And another cool thing about the queue here, about five years ago, Veronica and me actually were allowed to come up here and take photos overlooking the balcony. They let us climb up the steps because there's two sets of steps on each side that's roped off at the exit. And we actually got to go in there and it was really cool. Another cool thing to point out is you see those handprints sliding down the glass? That is awesome. If they ever have a tip-top club at the top of the tower, I would be there in a heartbeat. No matter what the cost was. I also sat in that chair once. And hello gorgeous. Last person in the room. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's why there's a long wait. They only have one side of the Tower of Terror operating. Huh, makes sense. Like I said, they normally would have one loading here, one loading here, and one loading over there, but that's the only one that's loading. Crazy, huh? Oh, it's been literally a couple months. I'm so excited.
that was fantastic. And now we're in the gift shop and there is like nobody in this gift shop just for now until the actual elevator empties. So let's look at some of the cool stuff. Lots of spooky Halloween stuff, Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack and Sally, and of course Tower of Terror stuff. Oh, but look at these ears over here. That is pretty awesome. I like these ears. Ooh. I really like this Hollywood Tower Hotel like shirt with the hood. $44.99 though. Oof. One of these days, outlet shopping. And you can get yourself a little Hollywood Tower of Terror bathrobe. Look at that. Even wear that around Universal. So I wasn't aware of this, but the park actually closed at 8.30. The park closed at 8.30, the fireworks are at 9, but all of the concession stands, the Tower of Terror, all the rides are down already. Oh no! The wonderful world of animation starting and I wanted to watch that! Oh, I'm gonna have to hurry up to get over there, but look at the lights! I like the lights in the trees. Oh! I was really, really impressed with that new show that they actually have. I really loved that they had Forky up there already, and then the Timotoa part, fantastic. So, actually, Star Wars Galaxy Spectacular is gonna start in like two minutes, so we gotta get a nice little viewing spot for that since I abandoned Chip there. So whenever I watch fireworks at Hollywood Studios, I always like to stand at a side because they usually shoot off the fireworks coming from here, up there and then right here but I can't get a full frame picture so if I'm pointing straight at the castle I only get this shot but if I do here and here aha uh -huh, that's the one Mav
was Star Wars Galactic Spectacular. I showed you guys basically every viewing area possible. I actually wanted to see which viewing area was best. In the middle, if you sit right in front of the Chinese theater, it's kind of really up close. If you go too far back on the street, you can't see anything. And if you're on the left or the right, you get a better view, I feel like. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that and love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.